Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm doing a fun video with Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, here on YouTube. We are doing a collaboration where I do her look and she does my look, kind of our signature look. And she sent me a message to kind of explain what her look is, and I'm going to put that in right here. Hey everyone on Lisa's channel, my name is Marnie. I'm known as Miss Gold Girl on YouTube, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So. The way that I do my makeup is this is sort of my signature look. I think it's a more everyday kind of toned down look. I like a neutral eye. I like a mid-tone brown in the crease and a little shimmer on the lid. I don't do much in the way of contouring. Um, definitely no baking or false lashes or wing liner. I rarely wear liner when I do it's, it's brown. And I like just sort of a diffused bronze look, a little bit, a little subtle blush on the cheek, and a nudie pink kind of lip. I like to wear my hair like this. I can't wait to see what Lisa does <laughs> with her version of me. But I hope that you come visit me on my channel where I will be attempting her look, which is very different from mine and honestly takes a lot more skill. So if you want to see me attempt my best try at looking like Lisa. I know I will fall short, but it's worth a shot. Then please check out my channel that will be linked down in the description box. Thanks so much and good luck, Lisa. I can't wait to see how I turn out. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this Marnie Miss Gold Girl look, then just keep watching. So here we go. Now Marnie doesn't wear any primer, but I have seen her wear the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter because I think she is the one who pushed me over the edge to get it. She was using this one time with, I think she was using it with Estee Lauder double wear. So I thought I would use this today kind of as a primer. And then I'm going to use my BK Beauty foundation brush to blend that in. And I knew that she wears her hair up when she does her makeup so I put my half up more up than usual okay so you can see that gives you such a good base then instead of using the Estee Lauder I know she wears the La Mer and I have that but I'm just not crazy about the shade I never could get a good shade in that La Mer so I when I think of her I think of Wander Beauty so I'm gonna try this I know she likes Wander Beauty a lot so this I try not to take it out too quick because this little thing can fling it out everywhere oh goodness okay I've already just about messed up but I think I've saved myself she uses the Trish McAvoy Eye Brightener. I've got, I went and looked in all my Trish McAvoy stuff. I should use her stuff more. I see the Instant Eye Lift, and then I see the Eye Correct and Brighten. I think she uses the Eye Lift. So that is what I'm going to use here. Yeah, because I know hers had a good pink tone. So, I'm going to try to salvage this. By using that. Oh, I'm going to use a smaller brush. I don't want to mess that one up. Where's my beauty blender? Okay, let me put a little bit more under this one. If you haven't ever tried this, it's good. I don't know why I forget. I think I'm not doing myself any favors by keeping my Trish McAvoy stuff in those little books that they come in because then you forget about them but that is amazing look how good that did okay so now let's I think I'm going to use the beauty blender to put do my foundation and you guys my roots these quarantine roots are just killing me. I have about hit pan in my hair powder. There, that's a good medium coverage. Okay, and then I know Marnie loves the. Where? Well, I know I brought it out here. I'm feeling here. Yes, 
the contour wand. So I am going to use that. I'm going to take our tip and untwist it, get a little bit, and then twist it back. And that will be really next time I won't even need to twist it again. Okay, I'm going to use this BK Beauty brush and just kind of blend that in around my big forehead. And blend that in and kind of bronze with it. She doesn't really do any major contour like I do. Okay, there we go, and then I think I'm going to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury Genius, oh, Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder, and get this open, I'm going to use one of the BK Beauty big brushes that I like, yeah, this one, I love this powder brush, the 102, I love how big and floppy it is, so I'm going to get just a little bit like this and just dust it. Over. Dust it over my eyelids because she doesn't use any lid primer. Oh goodness. My Kendra Scott earring just fell out. <laughs> I told her I know exactly what earrings to wear. I'm wearing my Kendra Scott earrings. I need to bend them more and my Kendra Scott ring that I got when we went, all went to, um, was it Houston? When we went to Texas. Okay, now I asked her about eyeshadow palettes and she named off a few and then I went and I was like, oh my gosh, she's got a favorite eyeshadow palette video. So this was in her favorite eyeshadow palette video and but she did say that sometimes she just likes to use bronzer in the crease. So I think I'm gonna take this Hula bronzer on the same big fluffy brush and kind of bronze all around like she would, kind of all over. And maybe do a little bit of that in the crease just to start off with. Like that blush I know that she likes the buxom blushes like I do and I just watched one of her videos and she was talking about the Seychelles blush and the Mykonos these smell so good just when you open them they're like they make you think of the islands so I'm going to use this big 104 use a little bit of the Seychelles kind of on the backs of my cheeks And then I'll use a little bit of this Mykonos. And I'm probably going to bring it in a little bit further like she does. But my face is just angular. It all angles up and kind of down. So it's, I don't always do that. Now, eyebrows. You know, she a lot of times she'll do her eyebrows and come back. Let me text her real quick and see what she uses most on her eyebrows. And while we're waiting for her to respond, I saw her use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. That's something we really have in common is we both really love the Charlotte Tilbury. So we're going to use this and just lightly line my lips. Like that. With this pillow talk. And then I brought several glosses out here. When I think of Marnie, I think of like a, I think of a pink more than a peach gloss. Let's see what if I brought. So I brought some different things out here. And I thought I would just look when I got my look done and see. 
I think I might use this lip stain from YSL. It is the number 11. It's pretty pinky, and I think it'll go good with this look. Okay. I think that's too, maybe too pink for what she usually wears. My napkin. So we will use that as just like a stain, and then I'll make it lighter. Okay. This one is the um, Happy Shake from Bobbi Brown. Yeah, this is a little bit more nude. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now, oh, here, she's answered me back. Pencil and brow mascara. Trish McAvoy pencil or lately the CoverGirl Ultra Fine. Okay, I've got the perfect thing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this number two... Benefit brow pencil, which is a light one. It's a little bit lighter than I probably typically would use. A lot of times I use more of a neutral brown. But I think Marnie's um, blonder than I am. But I would just, I don't do a whole lot to my brows. I just pull them out a little bit and fill them in right up there. Here. Oh, but I do have my brows microbladed. I had it done about a year ago. I think I had it done last June. I did. I had it done when we were staying at the beach. What a crazy thing to do to do something like that while you're staying at the beach, but I did. Okay, so just a light, nothing special brow. And... One of my favorite brow gels, really, of all the expensive ones and everything, is this NYX. And this color I have is blonde. So this will kind of lighten them up some. It's really pretty. I have it in a darker color, too, but I really like the blonde one. So, there. Lighter, really good normal brows okay I think she said I couldn't bake under my eyes it's killing me because I'm shiny I am going to just powder in my shiny areas I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just powder or I need to okay great Okay, so now what she usually does is a, our eyelids are so different because I have a big lid. Um, so she usually does a normal brown in the crease. I would say this birch is probably going to be it. And she uses like a big fluffy brush like this. So I'm going to tap this in and tap it out and I'm going to go all in my crease out and kind of down just in windshield wiper motions like that like that and then I think I see her take this same usually this color that she uses and takes it underneath a little bit so that's what I'm going to do. Same birch color. And I think she does a like a cream color. I'm looking for a flat, yeah, just like a flat shader. This is the 203. I'm going to take this fresh little cream color up here at the brow bone. Okay, back with that one that had the brown because I don't want too much up there. But just kind of blend it in. And then I can't remember if she does this or not. I'm going to take that same matte cream color and kind of 
run it in right here. And then I know she usually puts some type of bronzy shimmer on the lids. So I'm going to go in with, hmm, I've got rose quartz and teak. I think I'm going to use rose quartz. Seems like I remember that color being really pretty. So I'm going to put this flat shader brush in and then just run this across my lid. It's not, it's not really showing as much as I thought it would. Okay, so let's go into, let's go into teak, which is more of a bronzy tone. Yeah, I think that shows up a little bit more. Yes. Okay, so that's it. That's all she does for the lids, which I think is beautiful. The only thing I would do different is now I would come back with some type of, you know, thicker liner. But she said she doesn't use any liner on the waterline or to tight line. She just does mascara. So lately I have been loving this mascara. Marnie, I don't know if you've tried this, but it is the, it is one of my favorite mascaras, especially if I'm not wearing lashes or not wearing you know, heavy lashes. So it's the Honest Beauty, you get it at Walgreens. And I don't really use the primer side that much. I just like how this wand gets right to the lashes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I kinda lay it on there and then just pull it up. And I still am just not a big lash curler like that. Now we'll put just a little bit on the lower. Pretty sure she does her lower lashes. Most people do. I like to kind of pull mine out like that. Okay. Does this look like a good? I think the eyes are like perfect. I think that's exactly what she would have done. Now are we finished? Oh my gosh. That's not enough steps. Okay, so this is my classic Marnie look, just fresh. You know, it's killing me not to put some, like, liner on and lashes and everything else, but this is her look, and I have on the Kendra Scott earrings, and I feel like to complete the look, I need to go with her mirrored Ray-Ban sunglasses. So thank you, Marnie. Thank you to all her subscribers for watching. Thank you to my subscribers for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.